I wish that the foot in your book ran and more, you know, uh, uh, dignified. Just so, the second one of those. One of one. Or one hundred and one. <laughs> The Orpheus model is never boring. The idea of Orpheus is that we take symphonic repertoire, play it with chamber music techniques. And what that means is basically that the musicians take over the role of a conductor. Each one of us is as responsible as a conductor for having an interpretation, knowing the score, and being able to discuss those ideas with your colleagues. That's something that's very unusual in an orchestra setting. While it's very exciting, it's also a real challenge to come out with a conclusion and a plan for execution. Because at the end of this rehearsal process, we have to get onto the stage and perform. There needs to be a clear chain of command. You've got to have defined roles. Um, and you really need to create a group consciousness. It starts out with just the core of players who are the principal players for that particular piece, which is different for every piece. Um, and once that gets developed within the chamber music group, the small group, it's then transferred to the large group. And that's one of the most difficult moments, is to take the small group's concepts and see how it's going to work with the bigger group. group as a whole may sometimes reject some of their ideas, argue, question, uh, deepen, and so uh, every member on, in, in the rehearsal process and on stage absolutely has a say. In a professional symphony orchestra, for example, or a lot of corporations, you have one person at the top who's attempting to, quote, orchestrate, quote, the entire organization. And a lot of the people who are actually doing the work are just following orders and doing what they're told to do. In the case of an orchestra, it's to play their instruments superbly. In Orpheus, every single member is a leader. They all have an obligation to provide leadership to the rest of the people in the orchestra, and they're all listened to. So uh, there's more leadership rather than less leadership that comes from not having a conductor. It can kind of give you goosebumps and say, you know, there really is a different way to go about this business of working together and collaborating than what I've grown up with. And that's, that's the power of Orpheus. The Orpheus Institute is a way for students to learn what Orpheus is about, what it's like to play in an orchestra without a conductor what it's like to work collaboratively on all levels, not just the music making. They learn the programming process, the administrative process. What the Orpheus process does is it allows students uh, to collaborate together uh, in a creative community and empowers them to come up with musical ideas and to present through a shared, engaged process a musical performance. In our teaching method, the idea is not to provide the solution, but rather to help them work through these issues by themselves, so that when they come out on the other side, they have a sense of their own artistic voice, which now they've refined, and now they've had to express to their colleagues and get the response and deal with either the positive feedback or the negative feedback. We find ways to talk and work with these students so that they are doing their own uh, process and thinking about things and working together instead of my idea, my idea, my idea. I think instead of thinking about the tempi, we should just think more big, one big phrase. The delay between the winds and the strings that, or what it feels like a big delay uh, back here, if we could start it a couple times because we're usually behind and a little uncomfortable in the beginning too. Uh, maybe the solution could be a little different. What do you think? What do you do when the, the poor winds way back there are trying desperately to be clued in up front? What do you do? 
over the course of a few weeks of rehearsal, you really start to get the knack of how to say things, how to take things even, and being really open to suggestions. It's an inevitability that, uh, you know, throughout the weeks you might experience a range of emotions towards your colleagues, and that's totally natural. The greatest thing is that once it does come together at the end, you know you've made the decisions as a group. The main thing that Orpheus does is to teach students to listen to each other. And I think the idea of cooperation and the idea of ensemble skills is something that the Orpheus musicians can teach my students better than anything else I've found in any school. It's really nice to have everybody contributing and then when the whole thing comes together we really feel like we own it. We're not just following one person, we're following everyone. The Orpheus Institute and the Orpheus process is actually quite multidisciplinary uh, and covers a vast, vast curricular scope. Students in engineering, the humanities, the honors programs, all can find something to grasp onto. I've spent the last 20 years visiting organizations of all sorts that I believe really are inventing the future of business leadership and organizational life. And I gotta say, Orpheus, among all of the global companies and high-tech juggernauts I've come across, Orpheus really stands as a truly unique and compelling model, not just about where organizations are going, but where leadership itself is going. As we engage in institute partner institutions, we plan also to be uh, presenting the Orpheus model to business students, uh, to maybe psychology and sociology students. And the analogies for business are very, very powerful. That if you have a group where, where people are engaged, empowered, that they can disagree with the leadership, that, uh, that this creates a, the, a, a product, in this case a musical product, that is more dynamic, more flexible, uh, more alive than one you know, that comes from a dictatorial top-down leadership model. To really figure out what's going on in the world, in the economies, in the capital markets, uh, you need to bring people together, you need to solve the problems together. And so what, what I've learned from Orpheus and what Orpheus teaches all of us is a, a very, very inno innovative way of, of approaching that type of complex problem solving. The more complex the problem you're trying to solve, the more benefit you're going to get from the, the collective genius as opposed to uh, solely the, the autocratic insight. One of the ways that uh, I actually use uh, Orpheus in my teaching is uh, we've got some video that uh, we've taken and gotten from other sources and the kids in the courses love to see the video but the real hit comes the real hit comes when you see them in person because then you sense the excitement and the dynamism of this group that even a video uh, is not uh, gonna, gonna capture. We're, I always feel like we're ahead of everybody and we play most of the melodies and it feels like we're ahead of everybody. everybody? I don't know, maybe you feel like, oh, well, he doesn't want it too we fast do. so we're gonna not push, you know, or something, but go ahead. Um, <laughs> this idea of keeping things moving is good in the big architecture of things, but sometimes I feel like we're impatient, yeah. and that's different from keeping things moving. Right. Maybe we could just, could we just isolate that right now and just no, you, you guys need to play how you feel and not because we said faster, you, you just, you play convincingly and we'll follow you. Business school is great and reading and debating case studies are great, but there's nothing like being in the moment being part of the flesh and blood experience where decisions get made, where debates take place, where people rehearse together, practice together, mess up together. And that's why it's so important, so eye-opening, and also so emotionally opening for business school students and business people to see this process for themselves. Teaching people how to come to a problem with, with an open mind, uh, with a creative spirit and with a, a collaborative instinct, I think has uh, much, much greater odds of success. I think a student who learns that way comes to business problems with, with a certain desire to come up with a creative solution. And in an evolving world, and in a complex world, uh, that's, that's simply a competitive advantage. Getting beyond the spreadsheets, 
in the annual reports, in the income statements, and understanding how emotional, how human life in organizations really is. And to sit in and listen and watch and be part of this process, it really does change the game in terms of how you take the measure of what it means to be a leader. I like to tell the story of when I first played with Orpheus, the very first time, I was very young then, and I'm standing in the doorway very shyly because, as I say, I didn't know anybody. And I see people are laughing, they're telling jokes to each other, people are playing licks for each other, playing things on the violin, just chaos everywhere. And I found that absolutely amazing that we can start from, from nothing and end up with something that people really want to hear and, and that we all enjoy so much. The whole concept of an orchestra in and of itself is completely unique in the world in that we are a group of people that are coming together with the idea of unity. And when we don't have someone telling us exactly how we're going to agree, it's difficult. But once you get there, something magical happens. So leadership and entrepreneurship, collaboration and innovation, these are all key to success. And through the Orpheus Institute, we are committed to sharing the legacy of our institution's unique approach to collaborative leadership and to the creative process with students in all fields of study. We live in a world today where flexibility, agility, creativity, these are the coins of the realm, which is why I think the Orpheus Institute holds so much promise for teaching individuals and organizations from all walks of life about the new logic of leadership, innovation, and great execution, by the way, in the 21st century.